Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The president of the Jamaica Manufacturers Association, Brian Pengele, says Jamaicans should brace for further price increases as the value of the Jamaican dollar continues to decline. On Friday, the Jamaican dollar reached a record $100.08 to one U.S. dollar. The JTA president, Clayton Hall, says the recent utterances by the education minister have been affecting the morale of teachers. On the weekend, Ronnie Thwaites announced a freeze on the hiring of teachers, saying to do otherwise would affect Jamaica's deal with the International Monetary Fund. There could be disruptions in Jamaica's aviation systems as air traffic controllers seek to press for a wage increase. Members of the Jamaica Air Traffic Controllers Association are meeting today to decide on their next course of action. Overseas, Winnie Mandela, the ex-wife of former South African President Nelson Mandela, has visited him in a Pretoria hospital. Mandela, who is 94 years old, was admitted on Saturday in serious but stable condition. In sports, West Indies Ricky keeper Dinesh Ramdin has received a two-match ban for breaching the code of conduct. Ramdin was found guilty of faking a catch in the West Indies Champions Trophy win against Pakistan. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be mainly sunny during the morning. During the afternoon, expect isolated showers and thunderstorms across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.